Hello and welcome to our Sweet Truth episodes. Today we're going to be talking about podcasts. Now I know a lot of people, I've discovered this myself, podcasts are a little bit unfamiliar to a lot of people. So we've got two great gals here to talk a little bit about the niche of podcasts, how it is and what they do because they're from an amazing podcast called Mate Podcast. So let's start and introduce ourselves. So we'll start from this side of the couch. Hello. So um, I'm Laura, so I'm half of Mate. And um, daytime, or like my actual job, is um, a project manage for a men's magazine. So um, it's like a men's fashion and lifestyle magazine. Um, which actually is very different from what I trained as, which was an architect, which oh. I realised, yeah, it was like three long, expensive years and then a year out and I thought, hmm, maybe oh not my for God, me. Yeah. So ended up getting a job as a project manager. My mum still likes to say I'm an architect. Oh. Um, but yeah, that's what I do on the day. Fab. And I'm Sophie. Um, we're both based in Liverpool as well. Yes, and um, I am a stylist assistant, actually, quite often in Manchester based. Oh, I yeah. feel like I can tell. Like, as soon as you walked in, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, stylist. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be stylish. <laughs> <laughs> so how did Mate Podcast come about? I love the way it's Mate as well, because like, obviously you're from Liverpool. Everyone meat. says me. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. You are like me. So is that sort of where you got the word mm. from as yeah, well? Yeah, defo. Like we always, as soon as something happens, we would say, "Oh my god, mate!" Or right, mate. mate. Yeah. yeah. Hi, mate. Or, Which I yeah. never realised we did until we were trying to think of a name. Yeah. And, oh my god, we had it took ages. Shit it was <laughs> it was taking so long, wasn't it? Yeah, and and then you said something like what do we say all the time, and we both were like, "Mate." mate. So yeah. It just came. And yeah. then, <laughs> yeah. Luckily that coincides with the topics that we want yeah. to talk about and so being it's... another mate that kind of thing yeah. so yeah. but it kind of it all started off um we met we've only we've not known each other super long oh yeah. uh-huh, right yes yeah, so we've only known each other like just under a year actually yeah yeah even oh though God. it's been a nice little meeting because yeah. we're tight um but yeah so we met like online mm-hmm. um on instagram oh. not on like yeah. some <laughs> chat roulette <laughs> um yeah and um <laughs> Yeah, met up in real life, got on really well. And then I think both looking to do something extra, like a little side hustle thing. Yeah. And yeah, this was kind of well into podcasts, bonded heavily over podcasts yeah. and the Hilo, which is our fave. Um, uh-huh. And then we yeah, decided we wanted to do a podcast and that's kind of how it all kicked off really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just started brainstorming some ideas and yeah, thinking did. about the topics that we want to talk about. and Did some testers. Yeah, yeah. Did really, some bad, testers. really bad book recommendation podcast, oh, video, video cast. Yeah. Oh, it was like when in Instagram Live went all cool. Yeah. Uh, right. So we were like, yeah, we, we've got this. Smashed yeah. it. But watching yourself talk on camera, oh, right. we were like, this is this is painful to edit. Yeah. So we were like, no. But it was like at the camera that was like balanced on something. Yeah. At a weird dang. It was just, yeah, it was hideous. And we were both like over talking. So, um, yeah, so we decided on audio format. Yeah, yeah. And oh. then, um, yeah, and then we just kind of figured out that we WhatsApp all the time. Yeah. I'm not like, I know WhatsApp with a friend like Sophie and discuss things, like issues or topics or things I've read. Yeah. And I was like, if we're doing this, I've never done that before with a friend like that, but it became like a little... Something that I've like been doing Like a little therapy anyway. session, yeah. it was lovely. Yeah. So it's yeah. something you've always done with pals and I was like, if we're doing this, loads of people must be wanting yeah. to do this. So. Do you like voice notes on WhatsApp? Are you voice we don't, notes? We don't voice notes. My we don't actually friend, talk on the phone no. that much, do we? I hate talking we on the phone. We always WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah we always phone. WhatsApp. Was we have that discussion in, in this group anyway? I'm looking at the team of Sweet Truth <laughs> because I think I only become like a voice noter because of them. Well, probably yeah. because of Emma. Yeah. So many people do it. Yeah. Though. Like my cousin only talks to me in voice notes. Yeah. And I'll text her back and she'll voice note. Yeah, because I know if yeah. I want to have a rant, sometimes I can just message Emma and I'm like, listen this is what's <laughs> yeah, happened yeah, yeah. and then she'll come back and be like oh my god I can't believe that and like yeah. move up it and like you say it's like a therapy thing yeah, isn't it yeah. she can just offload it all straight away yeah do yeah. you think that's useful for women then in general because obviously we're very similar on our podcast because we empower women we're about mm-hmm. you know a space for girls mm. so why did you sort of angle it that way was it because of that or I think um sort of the stuff that we were talking about like we would at the time like I just sort of started coming off contraception and yeah. we were talking about that initially mm. weren't we and then in and amongst that we were talking about book recommendations yeah. and then podcast recommendations yeah. and then there'd be certain articles about 
sort of things that we were going yeah. through and then we'd send was, those to each other wouldn't we and yeah. I don't know whether it's just because we were girls and it yeah. was yeah but it became more and more conscious I think mine I think my recommendation is always they're quite career based I quite like a yeah. career chat yeah and um, but because I work in a men's lifestyle magazine what I work with and who I work with is very masculine right okay. so I really championed like the girl startup or the girls in this yeah. or yeah, the side hustle. yeah so that, that kind of yeah. side hustle or um yeah, so that was a really big thing for us. And it kind of, you kind of niched on more maybe like the um, friendship, like family, mental more health. Personal and, and mine was a bit more career. But it was then just ended up being about like, actually women can do this and women can do this. And what do you think? And quite naturally our yeah. audience became women. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And just crossing those boundaries, things that maybe you wouldn't normally hear on a podcast, things that are like relatable or millennial. Yeah. Or... And then we always made an effort as well, which we, I hope we still, like, we always do, is like not to talk about something we don't know a lot about, you right. know? Because I think, you know, we have these issues sometimes where like we don't talk about race enough, we don't talk about this, but I'm like, I want to mention it and like try and do, but be super honest that we don't know everything yeah. about it and I don't want to give anyone false information yeah. or slip up and say something that I didn't mean or whatever. So that was a big like underpinning of everything because yeah. it was really just what we spoke about so it was quite easy yeah it's very important with like them type of things isn't it because mm. like misinformation can yeah. really be detrimental yeah. sometimes and I people think... can lose their shit over it so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, and you've not meant it in a vicious way yeah exactly but I think what became so clear was that like we just stick to what we genuinely talk yeah, about yeah. Yeah. and where we can we will then get guests on who are much more informed yeah, yeah much more eloquently yeah. say what yeah. we, you know what <laughs> yeah. we, we maybe don't yeah. know and educate though that's the thing as well yeah. isn't it like and that's why I think we based so we our podcast is split up into three sections right, so okay. we do like a whatsapp number which is like our weekly round oh. so it's like so that's pulled from our whatsapp, WhatsApp. conversations so oh, be I like, love yeah. that yeah. so it's whatsapp room. so it's like articles uh, yeah articles s- series films Films, oh anything God. we've watched yeah. or yeah. chatted about or what we've been or what we've done yeah. and then there's a mate to mate section yeah which is like an advice question so one might be like uh you know I work you know people one of mine was like I work in an industry that's really male based uh, heavily male based and when I've got an email con- uh, relationship with someone meet them yeah. in real life and it's like starting from square one again and everyone thinks I'm about six and I've got like you know f- how would I deal yeah. with that? So then Sophie would give me advice on... Oh. So just like how personal you issues yeah. that we've like maybe gone through like a tricky situation, situation. and how we would yeah. like, you know, sort of advice you yeah. would give to your friends over mm. WhatsApp, basically. Yeah. And then the last part is, oh my God, mate, you'd love, which is like our recommendation bit. So it's oh. like, you'd love this skin product or you need to watch that or you need to read this. Yeah. Or a restaurant, um, whatever. People love that bit, don't they? Yeah. That is like, like such a, like, I can see like it's very organic and just yeah. very, yeah. it's what you do with your mates. Yeah. yeah. It's and quite lighthearted, isn't it? We don't yeah. want it to have, yeah. we want it to feel like what we found was when we listen to podcasts, it's for like a little bit of escapism mm. and we tended mm. to not favour anything too heavy or yeah. too serious and we kind of wanted ours to just be like a little bit of like lighthearted yeah. entertainment and a yeah. bit of... A bit of escapism from the day to day. Oh God! <laughs> Crash. <laughs> oh. I think as well the um, like you get the northern aspect for us has been a massive winner. Like yeah. people, because the podcast we listen to and love a very like middle class, posh, very southern white people. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? Whereas yeah. this is like like you girls, like everything that's going on here. It's people love that different change yeah. in voice and yeah find just, it really friendly as well so. yeah, yeah definitely i agree with that i just recently well. went on um my mates she, she lives in london mm-hmm. she has like housemates and they all do journalism so okay. they have a podcast and it's sort of similar in that it's just very light-hearted having a laugh or i think it's more so about like your what's happening mm-hmm. section yeah. so yeah. it's just like Oh my god, have you seen this? And they were it's talking huge. about like yeah. like R. Kelly and like the sit like all like yeah, yeah. what's yeah, up recently. Yeah. Yeah. And they they torment each other and just have a laugh. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's all about that. But they're all from different places because oh, they're uni cool. students. So we've got like like one of them's from Wolverhampton, so he's got that twang and it's <laughs> yeah. Really yeah, it's weird. like a good yeah. diverse mix yeah. people. Yeah. And then you've got another girl and she's like from Yorkshire and she's like got like a really cute like northern like sort of accent. And then there's your southerner as well. Yeah. So then, like, it's sort of the contrast, and they can it's have a laugh really sometimes. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And they talk about like southerners and northerners sometimes. Oh, and the divide. Tease, <laughs> tease each other about it, but it's mm. true, isn't it? Like, Aww. it's very, very chatty in the north. I think. Yeah. yeah so definitely. True. It just brings like a different edge. It's more friendly and yeah. more relaxed, and and I think as well, you're not so 
like and we try not to loads but like we talk over each other and we're like we're like just excitably but like that's what I love about it because it's like yeah. it's not rigid no it's or... not rigid and I go down to London quite a bit with work and I have meetings and yeah. I think that I'm mental like the thing that like, yeah. and yeah. I'm like can you, like, do you, can you just say that like, can you just slow oh, down God. can you just what, sorry one sec and then I'm like <laughs> And I like like they just don't get it, and I think, oh my god, I'm talking like a robot here. And they're like, thanks, got that, got that now. And I'm yeah, it's funny, oh it's really god. funny. Do you think it's also like a bit of a Liverpool thing as well? Like, do you think there's it's different to like yeah, Manchester? Yeah, definitely. Because me yeah. and like I have like a couple of friends from Liverpool who are models, so we're signs in Manchester. But like when we go away, we're a bit like, oh my god, like the Manchester <laughs> people are a bit strange, aren't they? They're a bit different to us. I think <laughs> when we first started doing meet, the first mm. thing the your boyfriend commented on was yeah. when we got together he was like I just sit in silence the whole time because I can't get any, a word Ed in edgeways yeah. because we just we'll talk over each other we'll talk at each other we'll change the subject so much and like and jump we to, about we had to really think about changing that for the yeah. podcast because we were like we want to keep elements yeah. of that but we can't just oh yeah because we we could we've just we've not stopped talking all morning for like, we haven't paused for air all day have no yes yeah, yeah yeah no not at all and then i remember the first one we recorded it was like oh my god you know like even we when we were listen to it back we're like wow like yeah. all these erms likes yeah what like all thrown yeah, in yeah so hopefully it's getting a bit more professional oh god <laughs> do you think podcasting's helped you like network with some people as well because we talk about like obviously empowering women and mm-hmm. um, on our show we sort of have seen friendships form as well from different yeah, guests 100 yeah. we've never met each other before yeah, we did. it was an event, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, that was gonna yeah. say this was like the biggest indicator of it, and like the yeah. biggest. It was, uh, it was so, it was such a good night. So we did an event called a date with mates, right? Which was like a live event in Liverpool. Yeah, and it went down. To be fair, the tickets sold out really. Well, it was free, but like the spaces yeah. went really quickly. But I think that's we mm. agreed. There's nothing like that in Liverpool, mm. so everyone was super keen. We just wanted to like create a space where women could come. We could talk about the sort of stuff that we do. On yeah. mate, sort of relatable yeah. millennial yeah. issues. And then and make mates. So, and like, people could make mates. It's really cute because we did it in the place that we first met up in. It was like a first date oh, back. Yeah. 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 So, it was called a date with mate. Oh. And then yeah. everyone was like mingling. There's people who come from like outside of Liverpool who yeah. love yeah. the podcast. Which is really cool. cool. So, they sort of made friends with other people who'd come from different areas and it was nice because there was like a couple of girls that came on their own yeah. and then they all like clustered together and like met and like oh. mingled and became mates it oh, was really, it was really cute yeah. well, we and gutters like, I missed out it was really cute I'm, if you do another one yeah. I'm there yeah. 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 Oh. We're, gonna, we're looking at doing one in Manchester and London oh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh. so we um, yeah and then we interviewed like three Liverpool entrepreneurial women yeah. so one was a really cool fashion brand called Ten Studios which is two Liverpool oh, yeah. women girls yeah, they're them. gorgeous one was Kaya who we obviously oh, know yeah Look, and then one was a girl called Hannah who runs like um, a hotel consultancy company, right. which is like she's like really cool. So yeah. it's different like backgrounds different as well, areas. so they could like discuss like how they started yeah. up, mm. how they've sort of made mm. connections and in creative industries yeah. and stuff. So yeah, and there's lo- there, there are like loads of things in Liverpool actually for like girl power empowerment things. There's quite a lot of little groups, but yeah. I think this one was nice because it was really broad. So yeah. it wasn't a because it's quite a lot like the arty world, isn't mm-hmm. there? And there's like a bit in the fashiony section, but like this yeah. one was so broad that loads of people from yeah. different backgrounds, backgrounds came together, which so was yeah. really nice. Yeah. So yeah, that was definitely a good like network I was gonna say boss then boss network <laughs> I was gonna say that <laughs> really good networking events do you think yeah. it's like key to have these sorts of spaces then because it does help doesn't it like people coming from different backgrounds yeah definitely especially at such a time when I mean we spoke about like some like topics we don't normally talk about because some people are uneducated about yeah. them yeah and it causes a lot of divide as well, doesn't mm-hmm, it? Mm-hmm. So at this point in society where we do find each other, I mean, Brexit itself has divided <laughs> our country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do you think it, it's important to have like just different people as well because Definitely. of that? I think massively. I think with on the podcast, the way we might sort of like stay away from like heavier, more serious subject matter. I think when we yeah. have the live events where there's room for like debate and discussion, yeah. and it you obviously you can have that like nuanced conversation yeah. and you can have like a more in-depth conversation mm. it's definitely yeah. something we found at the event wasn't it, it everyone was so sort of someone would raise a point and then that would start another debate yeah. and then oh. everyone would just in the end we were barely hosting the event everyone, everyone, else just just everyone having a huge yeah. chat but i think what was clear was that because i was so worried that it was just gonna be us talking for like an hour and a half and like yeah. trying to get people involved and it, it was, was so the quite opposite. the opposite yeah. but what was really cool about it was the fact that when someone like was brave and sort of like said something, 
it was like, right, okay, free for all. And obviously that was a massive indication that people don't have necessarily the right space to talk about yeah. things, you know. Yeah. And, and great for us that they felt safe, like they were in a safe space where they could talk about talk. that. Yeah, so it, that was like, for me, the biggest win of the night was like, because yeah. I the girls that came that were friends that I know it you know they're just quiet people you know mm. and I know I know because I know them quite well they've you know they struggled with things there was a lot of mental health chat that night and mm-hmm. um, they've struggled with things but I've never in a million years a heard them speak so in public yeah. or b heard them speak about their issues yeah. or whatever yeah. and there's one girl that like absolutely owned it and was just like yeah this is me and someone else was like well that's me and like it was just yeah. real it's all those like we want to tap into like those sort of conversations that maybe like aren't being had publicly so mm. for example everyone was sort of saying oh like you know, you seem to be on social media, like living the dream, like you're doing this and you're doing mm. that. And then the other person was like, yeah, but I'm actually like holding down three jobs and yeah. I'm doing this on the side and yeah. this isn't actually paying me as well as yeah. it might seem. And that side of things really came out, didn't it, as yeah, well on the definitely. evening, which, yeah. you know, sort of maybe wouldn't be on the podcast or maybe it's not on social media. Yeah. But then when we have these events, it's just room for all that kind yeah. of conversation, which That's is really important. That's similar to our social media episodes as yeah. well when we spoke about that because... I think it's key for people, even outside of the industry, to listen to our podcast sometimes and know that these models, these perfect people that apparently we are, yeah. we're not that perfect. Yeah, yeah. And in You're fact, just sometimes like it's the normal opposite. people. Yeah, at the exactly. end of the day, with all the same insecurities and yeah. issues as everyone issues. else. Yeah. Have you ever found yourself being more educated because of that? Then, so like at your events oh, and goodness. like maybe your opinion changing or anything like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I think which is why. Oh, I've learned, but I think what the podcast I've learned so much like yeah. doing this podcast about so many things and I used to think I was quite clued up on like a yeah. lot of stuff like but this is like because now we make a conscious effort to read more articles and like mm. find out about more women and stuff it's totally broad and which is why I think what the whatsapp and things good because Sophie will send me things that I would never I'd skim past it when I'll send, yeah. her, mm. her, send her things that she wouldn't pick up either yeah. so that in itself is what we wanted to bring to everyone else. So, mm-hmm. yeah, there's so many things that I'm now way more interested in than I ever was yeah. and more conscious of. And it's really good cool. to meet up with those women and get, to- I should say, totally different perspectives yeah. and for-, yeah. for other people to hear mm-hmm. their stories, which is super important. Getting Do you think, like, the guests. mental health aspect sort of um, is, like, a step towards empowering women as well? Because 100%. we were saying, obviously, people have been through things and to mm-hmm. see them talk up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know from myself, if... Like, when I experienced a really down, like, period of my life, actually coming out of that, like, sort of, I don't know, black hole and actually mm. talking to people, mm-hmm. I realised, oh, my God, it helps so, yeah. so much. massively. Because it doesn't only help, I think, what became clear with that event, and loads of articles we've read is, like, just writing it down on paper or saying it out loud helps you. Yeah. But that, in turn, helps a load of other people. It's, like, yeah. an amazing... For women, especially. Yeah. And there's a whole other issue with men because, you know, there's a lot of stuff to do with men not even being able to feel like they can do it. Yeah. But if we're looking at women, the chain reaction of being able to then go paper, speak, you know, whatever it is, helping someone else, just, like, it, like, a just tumbles. It's amazing. Yeah. It's really yeah. impressive. Definitely. And that was, like, that. that was what the event showed so clearly. Yeah. Because we've had comments and we have, like, you know, messages and stuff being, like, that really hit home, thanks so much, or yeah. this was amazing. But what was cool was, like, the actual back-and-forth conversation at the event. Yeah. So it made... Because we can talk about our experiences, yeah. you know, on the mm. podcast all day long, but I think it's so important to hear other people's feedback and hear their stories, yeah. which if we get, like, a really nice story from someone, we'll always, like, share that if, you know, that's okay with it's them. It's really or, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, and it's get, that's getting more and more. So I don't know whether it's, like, taking people a little bit of time to, like, settle in and go, oh, no, okay, maybe I could, but, like, the... Like, yeah. but the, the comments are always, we love how honest you are. Mm. So that's, that's the main thing is honesty and transparency and just... Yeah. Was it scary for you to be honest at the start? Yeah, massively, oh my wasn't God, it? yeah. I, I mean, didn't realise how much I pretend... Not, not, not like outright lying, <laughs> yeah. but how much I'd just be like, yeah, mm, but that's I'm, what I do. And I'd really be like, no, I really don't do that. Yeah. 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 I'm a, I'm a t- tiny bit older than you, aren't I? Yeah. And I think when I was even just like in those two years... Yeah. When I was, like, your age, mm. I would be so much more self-conscious of, yeah. like, being honest about... As one, we'd always want it to seem like we were having a great day all the or time. Or that I was, like, the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, best I know what I was doing. I'm yeah. amazing to everyone all the time. I'm so happy all the time. Yeah. And this, But, like, it's really hard to be like, actually, you know what? I've got no idea what I'm doing. I wake up and I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, you know, absolute anxious ball. Yeah. And then, then actually being able to go, actually, everyone else is like that too. Yeah, everyone it's else so feels it too. It's a full-time okay. job, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. pretend like you're this, like, it's awesome. awesome. 
<laughs> it's exhausting. And in those like in that time, in those two years, I was like, oh okay, like the more you talk about it, the more people are like, oh yeah, same, or they relate, yeah. and mm-hmm. then. It just makes it so much yeah. easier to be honest about yeah. it. And then you realise that everyone is actually in the yeah. same situation. I do think, though, podcasts help you yeah, to totally. be honest because yeah. I think it's the um, mentality of them and the ones that we listen to, are super, like the like big dog ones, are super honest. They well, you, they present that honesty card, but I think not having for it to be an audio thing that you put in your ears necessarily or something that you don't have to like mm. visually watch it's like a really different dynamic I think sometimes mm, you know yeah. where you can go actually because you don't have to look anyone in the eye and say it <laughs> it can really actually be super honest yeah and because yeah. you can listen to it it's like a barrier isn't yeah. it like a safety yeah because I safety listen to mine mat. like on the way to work or on my lunch or commuting somewhere or whatever it's like that really nice you're completely transported into what they're listening to and you're like actually what you what you what they're saying to you it's a really like it's a, it breaks that barrier down yeah, definitely i find myself when i listen to podcasts now and this is only just recently that i've mm. been listening but i find myself nodding along and so yeah you want to react don't you yeah. and be like yes <laughs> and you want to like and that's why i really love the idea of your podcast as well because like when I, I, did, I went on my friend's podcast, it was like just friends having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want to lean in and like That's get involved it. as well. Yeah. That's and exactly like, yeah, your little yeah. bit in. And yeah. yeah, it's really reassuring to be like, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. But they still like, it's not, he- the whole point was that it wasn't heavy and like yeah. oh, we wanted everyone to finish on like, a, pow- to, like to a positive vibe, not finish being like, oh God, that's so true what they said, but that was really intense. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you want the listener to feel like a, a mate just listening mm. into a a conversation between mm. two mates which is what everyone always yeah. comments don't they yeah which is mm. cool yeah, yeah that's cool you might be wondering where this amazing place is. We're at the home of Dirty Disco, the online female-led vintage store focused on sustainability. Use code SWEET20 to bag yourself 20% off. So how do you manage like doing your podcast and then your part-time jobs as well? Or is, is it full-time your jobs? I'm full-time. I'm yeah. part-time. Right, okay. So, so, so it does a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot. <laughs> so... I was aware that when we started it, that it was going to be me doing the bulk of everything, just purely because you've got a full time job and mm. then you've got another job, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, so so yeah, it's, it's you do intense. you you yeah you've got a lot going on um, and you do a loads yeah. of travel <laughs> and I'm still skinned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I I do a lot. I do mm. a lot of it, but in terms of like just that's the dream. I just really want to get to like Sophie's days are quite more flexible. And yeah. I'm like that's the that's the goal. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm freelance, so it's more. I can kind of like carve my own days and work it, around things. Which... It was like a big leap to go for it then, freelance or? Um, I think so because it's just like I did work full time because I moved back here from London. So it's completely, I was doing yeah. sort of more your lifestyle beforehand yeah. and it just wasn't really working out for me. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to go traveling and set this up and set up a website. So it was kind of, I knew what was going to happen mm-hmm. when, I, when I started. Yeah. Here. But yeah. What do you think about like, podcasts now in general then do you think more people are listening to them do you think it'll change in the future um because to me i'm trying to spread the words around my friends because i don't know whether they're actually really into them yet yeah see um, loads of people loads of our friends love yeah. them and everyone i know loves but them but really, then because i'm so maybe it's so niche yeah because we love that my mum thinks podcasts are like what's a podcast yeah, yeah, my, mom mom knows, yeah my mom doesn't get it at all and she's like why would you listen to someone talk like she, i'm like it's like a radio show but you can listen to it whenever you want That's and how she's I like it, yeah right <laughs> um and then my dad's quite a music head so he's like well why wouldn't you just listen to an album i'm like because it's nothing oh, like, like an it. album <laughs> but like it and because we're so immersed in it, i think everyone listens to it but mm-hmm. I think it's definitely growing. Yeah, like, the number of them are growing, and the like the color of like celebrities and stuff that are doing them are growing. Yeah. So, and there's loads more platforms for yeah. them. But I think what's really nice, like you guys as well, is the different formats. So you can do it audio. You can have add visuals. Yeah. You can run a social media account. You can do events. It's be kind of becoming the crux of like a bigger network. And there's something things. for everybody. Like if yeah. you want something more serious and more news related, you can get it. Oh, if yeah. you want something really light, if you want something about food, mm-hmm. you know whatever your interest says there's something somebody's yeah. doing that so you can always find what you want yeah i think it'll just grow and grow yeah, i really do i hope so because i think it is really good mm. and sometimes i find myself like listening to a radio channel i'm like oh i like the conversation on this yeah where you wanted to go further yeah, yeah or you want to hear more i used to just switch over and be like where's yeah. the music where's the... yeah but 
late nights maybe driving or something mm-hmm. like that and there is certain times yeah. where you just want to hear voices yeah. you don't want to necessarily listen yeah. Yeah. and you want to be, we want to be occupied so like if I'm walking to work I've got nothing else I can do can't read your book I can't, I can't hold a book I can't like watch anything it's ideal because you, you're immersed in it then yeah. I love them I, yeah, me too. I choose it over TV now I love them Yeah. so are you available what platforms are you available on to listen to so, so we're on SoundCloud and we're on um, Apple Podcasts oh yeah. amazing so yeah we're looking to get on the others pretty soon yeah. but yeah you can follow us on um oh. at mate.podcast fab mm. well i'll get listening <laughs> um we'll finish off then with a little recommendation i know you do this yeah so. oh my god mate you'd love <laughs> yeah. what would i love do you have any recommendations oh maybe podcasts um so i'm yeah. gonna start with a podcast that i've just been listening to i am obsessed with the comedian james a caster he's like really dry awkward and oh right. funny um and he's just started doing a food podcast which is like my two great loves mm-hmm. um comedy and food so <laughs> He's doing that with another comedian called Ed Gamble, and you basically do like desert island discs, but for food. Oh, so it's like your dream yeah, yeah. start, so I mean, um, dessert. So we've been doing, we've been toying with ours, yeah. haven't we, this week? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's called Off Menu. So yeah, I definitely, definitely listen to that. It's really good, really yeah. funny. And then um, books. We both just finished Normal People by Sally Rooney, yeah. which is like amazing. Book, yeah, amazing. Oh, really, Waterstones, really book of 2018. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. She's oh, an Irish amazing. writer. She's really cool. I know your friend Kaya loves it as well. Like, loves her, doesn't she? Yeah, she's yeah. such a reader. Yeah, yeah she's, she's like so a good. proper she got us on to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. That would be our current, oh my God, mate, you'd love. And yeah. since we're on a fashion podcast as well, mm. we'll add in a little, oh my God, you'd love. So is there any brands, independent brands, maybe fashion? I know we were talking about where you got your stuff. I love your green jumper as well, by Thanks. the way. This is a little <laughs> sale whistle item. Oh. Yeah, is, I'm into green, dark green's my thing now. I yeah, love I love dark green. Yeah, a little bit of forest green. Yeah. Um, so have you got any recommendations then? Um, I'm going to have a little think. I would say... I just got a gorgeous... Um, went to Paris and this little disc is from this little Paris brand called Nouveau Paris. Mm-hmm. And really affordable, like all cool little minimal gold jewellery. I'd recommend really nice little uh, online website shop. Everything's like handwritten and everything's gorgeous and niche and yeah. cute. Um, yeah, I'd recommend them at the minute. Really, really okay. nice. Um, probably my favourite would be at the moment, um, we are loving... Um, Ganny from Copenhagen, oh, yeah. Denmark. Yeah. Ooh, um, it's yeah. like really scanty brand, but like really oh, cool prints. Really cool. Um, really nice dresses. A bit spenny, so it's going to yeah. be like <laughs> yeah. an investment De- Defo, piece. Defo payday piece today. I've like copied their outfit, but on like but a on high the street budget. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more yeah. an inspo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's inspirational vibes, but the Instagram's really cool. Oh, like the product that. placement and stuff Ganny. that they're doing at the moment yeah. is amazing. That's a big one, actually. I'd say that was yeah, it's like oh, one of our main vibes. I need to look at some new fashion brands, so I'll definitely have a look at Ganny. That sounds good. It's lovely. Really Very good. international girls as well, not like British brands. <laughs> 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 Sorry, but yeah, thanks so much for coming. Oh, thanks for having thank us. Thank you so much for having us. It's yeah. gorgeous. It's been thank fabulous. <laughs> thanks so much for watching as well. This has been Sweet Trip. So therefore, I'm a D100 with you and tell you really what it, it was. Just got real.